which is the finale for a great, great oh. man. Earlier today, Hall of Famer Ray Dittinger announced his retirement from sports broadcasting. Ray's been a sports journalist for 50 plus years in Philadelphia, and there is no one better. He's been an analyst on Eagles pre- and post-game live since its inception in 1997. We've had about 10 to 12 analysts on the program during its run. There's only one person, though, that has been sitting at that desk with me the entire time, and that's Ray. As I said in March, when I presented Ray with the Reds Bagnell Award at the Maxwell Club Banquet in Atlantic City, for 35 years I've been so proud to call him my colleague, my mentor, and my dear friend. I have been lucky to be the host of the show, yes, but I'm blessed to know Ray. Ray's been the glue of the show, the rock of the show, the high priest of the show. And here in Philadelphia, man's a rock star, but he doesn't know it, and that's the beauty of Ray. There is something about his presence that commands attention. That's because he is at once mild-mannered, kind, unassuming, and really, really smart. He may bill himself as the world's slowest writer, but he is among the world's quickest and sharpest thinkers. His memory is practically photographic. Information goes in and it's on lockdown. Ruben, you've known Ray Dittinger for a long time. Your thoughts on his retirement following a legendary career? Yeah, just a special man, Michael, and you're making me emotional just, uh, just listening to your words. And, and, and I have to tell you, the cool thing about what Ray was about is, is the fact that he got to do something in his life that he absolutely purely loved you knew that he he did this was his goal i mean i saw his play that he wrote tommy and me what did what did he want to do he wanted to write about football especially about eagles football and he knows everything about it every piece of history and you, you can sense it with the way he writes and the way he talks and the way he analyzes the game and all games and uh what a special man and uh i'll tell you what congratulations on an unbelievable yeah. career especially now I'm on this side I can really respect it even more uh, just a wonderful man and uh, so happy for, for to have known him gotten a chance to, to, to spend some time with him yeah haven't we all while Ray is calm cool and collected you don't want to make him angry as the saying goes <laughs> don't mistake kindness for weakness as Boston's Mike Felger did before Super Bowl 52 in Minneapolis how many, how many games at Schaefer Stadium did you go to back in the day? Well, oh, and that, that oh I went there when I was a kid. That you, was a bad environment. You want to tell me about violent fans? You want to tell me about thug fans? The you people I saw in Schaefer Stadium? They were the worst in the NFL. And what, but then you started to win, didn't you? No, and then no, everybody got happy. No, 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 that was the turn to turn. It was that, right? It was 40 years ago. Everybody. We've evolved. Unlike in Philadelphia, it's like, No, we're still hearing about snowballs and Santa Claus, which was more than 40 years ago. I mean, I'm tired of that stuff. Seriously, look, I have all the respect in the world for Boston I think it's a great sports town I think in many ways it's very similar to Philadelphia I think the passion of the fans but one thing you cannot deny the people in Boston didn't even know there was a football team in Foxborough until the Patriots here, started here. winning that's fine We're and, new money. but that's yet fine. you have these Eagles fans that are here and they're supporting this team in tremendous numbers and, and the season ticket has waiting list 60,000 they have waited more than a half a century and well, haven't we won once I love it. Uh, I love too. the passion. I just and love that it. is Ray Dittinger. That is the essence of Ray Dittinger. That fire, despite that mild-mannered exterior, that fire burned within him, still burns within him. Ray, you told us how it is, how it should be, and usually how it will be. You've been our barometer, our weather vane, our canary in a coal mine. I don't know how we'll do it without you. I really don't. I'm looking forward to what the future holds for you and Maria and Arlo, your families, and I know we'll see each other, just not on football Sundays, and that hurts. For all of us here at NBC Sports Philadelphia, we'll miss you, Ray. And um, I don't know what he's going to do. I know he wants to travel. I know he wants to travel. He deserves it. Yeah, I know he <laughs> wants to, to see his granddaughter's field hockey games, which is going to be great. Um, but with regard to football Sundays and, and uh, joining Glenn Macnow on WIP, uh, that's it. 